We reserve a few minutes Sunday morning to suggest news or trends that seem to be predicted by the plain futurist reading of the Bible. We're careful to use recognized and reliable sources for the news. There's so much sensationalism that swirls around Bible prophecy and uh, actually turns people off so that they don't see what God wants them to see. We're not saying the things we report are the fulfillment of prophecy. It's important that you keep that in mind, only that they are things you'd expect to be happening in the world based on where the Bible says the world is going. Some of the things we follow in the news are the growing apostasy in the church, a falling away from biblical Christianity, instantaneous global communication, which was impossible in the day of revelation, but is predicted, the move towards a global government, move towards a global cashless society accessed by some type of personal identifier, an exponential leap in human knowledge, tampering with DNA to alter what it means to be human, and Israel regathered to the land promised them in the Old Testament. All of these things are trending today like never before. This morning, we're going to hear about a technological advancement that checks a few of those boxes on our list. Breitbart posted an article titled, Elon Musk claims first patient with creepy Neuralink brain chip can move a mouse with their mind. Uh, here's some excerpts from the story. Last month, Neuralink implanted its first computer chip into a human patient's brain. Now company founder Elon Musk says the patient has recovered fully and can move a computer mouse cursor simply by thinking. Think of all the fun you could have at work, right? If nobody knew, oh, I just had a minor surgery. Oh, my mouse is out of control. <laughs> Neuralink's brain chip, now given the name telepathy, aims to enab uh, enable. It's going to enable and enable recipients to control devices like phones or computers with their minds. While the company is still working to refine the tech, this first human trial marks a major milestone. The company states as its mission, we hope to restore capabilities such as vision, motor function, and speech, and eventually expand how we experience the world. Remember the $6 million man? Remember that? We can rebuild him. Anyway, uh, neuraling, pretty creepy. When's the last time you saw a brain? Anybody? Nobody's dissecting brains at home, that's good. <laughs> in college, UC Riverside does comparative psychology and they had us dissect a sheep's brain, which looks remarkably like a head of uh, cauliflower. And that's all it looks like. And I thought, okay, so it's all this mass. How do you decide where to put a microchip in somebody's brain? What could go wrong, right? <laughs> I wanna follow this guy around, but anyway. Now, this advancement no, is noteworthy for several reasons in terms of prophecy, because we know that in the last days, there's going to be a global government corresponding global economy, and somehow you're going to be able to access that. We've talked about all the various personal identifiers and chips and different things. And again, I'm not saying Neuralink is the mark of the beast. It's not. But it's interesting that we're moving in the direction of those kinds of things. Neuralink fits with the Bible's predictions of an exponential growth in human knowledge. I mean, this is incredible uh, feat, really. And it also leans into altering what it means to be human, which is going to be a characteristic of the last days. Now, we believe that chapters 4 through 19 in the book of the Revelation, the last book of the Bible, are entirely future. Those things have not taken place yet. And there are many other unfulfilled prophecies in the Bible that will be fulfilled literally. A great tribulation is predicted upon the whole earth that's going to last for seven years. Jesus Christ returns at the end of it uh, and he easily defeats all the armies of the world that are gathered against Jerusalem and he establishes his kingdom of God on earth. Jesus promised his church, that's us, the church is from the day of Pentecost until Jesus comes for the church he said to us, I will keep you from the hour of trial which shall come upon the whole world to test those who dwell on the earth. And so he's gonna keep us entirely out of those seven years by raising deceased church age saints, the resurrection from the dead, and then rapturing we who are alive and remain. The return of the Lord for us is always imminent. It's something that could happen at any time. Nothing needs to happen before the Lord comes back. Some people will tell you, oh no, the gospel needs to be preached to the whole world 
and then the Lord will come, because that's what Jesus says in Matthew 24 and 25. He's talking about the gospel being preached to the whole world in the tribulation period, not before it. So we're good to go as far as our passports to heaven right now. And so that return is imminent, and that's why I ask you every week, are you ready for the rapture? If not, get ready, stay ready, keep looking up. Ready or not, Jesus is coming. Thank you.